the solar system to celestial navigation, space has captured our attention for years. Most recently, is there life or water on Mars? And by the way, did you know that the sun is the closest star to Earth? Joining me this morning is Sarah Sutton with the San V. Pena Planetarium in Visalia to help us explore the wonders of the universe. And you heard right, Planetarium in Visalia. Welcome right. to the show, Sarah. Thank you. I didn't even know there was a planetarium in Visalia. What's going on? Well, That's awesome. the reason that a lot of people don't know about that is because it's there particularly and primarily for mm -hmm. the students of Tulare mm -hmm. County. Oh. Other, other students can come, but Mr. Vidak, the superintendent of the Tulare County Office of Education, invites all of the students in Tulare County to come free because he wants them to have this inspiring, immersive experience mm -hmm. that the planetarium gives. Yeah. And uh, hoping to inspire the children, because when you look out, you know, and you think, wow, these stars, the planets, they're out there, I didn't even know about them, all of a sudden I see them, and you know, they get to see uh, really good images of them. Uh -huh. Then they all of a sudden go, wow, I guess learning is kind of fun. There's yeah. a lot to learn, there's a lot I don't know. So we see that triggered all the time in the students that come. And so, how long has the planetarium been around? Well, this planetarium has been there a little over five years, mm -hmm. but the planetarium has been in Tulare County about 30 years. Mr. Sambi Pena was uh, working with the planetarium for 38 years before he retired last year. Okay. So, and I've just been there a year as the director. Wow. But he was the one that perpetuated it through the years, and now we have a really nice new planetarium. It's a 30-foot dome, and it's really nice. I mean, comparatively, it's five years old, but yeah. it's very nice. Very what nice. kind of programs do you offer over there? Obviously, educational space programs. Right, like astronomy. Kind of, uh, astronomy. Uh -huh. Astronomy, yes. We have 11 programs currently, and a lot of them are what we show our students during the day, but they're very, well, you know, family-oriented shows. Mm -hmm. They're really great. And uh, then we have some that are, we've just started a new series where people who are really interested in getting in deeper to stargazing and that sort of thing, we show them all the deep sky objects and all the constellations that are up there right now. And then they can go outside in the Tulare Astronomical Association has their big six-foot telescopes, 15-inch lenses. No and they can see, you know, the, the uh, moons of Jupiter, you know, whatever happens to be up there, the deep sky objects. And, it's what really is fun. the difference then between a planetarium and an observatory? An observatory will have a domed round top yeah. a lot of times, but it's made mechanically to open up and let the telescope go out into the sky. Ah, okay. Where a planetarium uses the dome as the celestial sphere and projects all the stars up there as they are seen. And then you can study them. You can you can learn what the constellations are and you know the movement of the stars and the planets. Oh, that's interesting. I yes, didn't we, know that. we show a lot of video in there too. Oh, good, mm -hmm. good. Tell us mm -hmm. about tonight. You're having a show tonight. You have shows Tonight's every week. Tonight's show. Or we it? have one bi-monthly. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Uh, for the public, and this show is called. Um, Planet Patrol, Solar System Stakeout. Oh, that sounds so fun. And yeah, it is fun. It has a uh, planetary investigator from a foreign galaxy. Uh -huh. And he's uh -huh. coming to our solar system. Uh -huh. And he's going to go through all of these planets. Uh -huh. And he's going to um, you know, discover different things about them and find out what makes Earth so special. Wow. And this is for kids of any age? This is, well, yes, yes. This is a family show. Okay. You could, any, any age could enjoy this. Oh, and it's so. only $4 to get in for adults and 3 for kids? That's right. That's great. Very, the prices are just kept really yeah. low. We want everybody to have this opportunity. Mr. Vidak's interested in, you know, educating the public as well. Well, there's that number on your screen. It's called, That's right. Call 737-6334 for more information or go to the website as well. All right, right Sarah, I cannot let you leave without... Uh, talking first of all about your model over here. Can you oh, give us a sure. quick little lesson? Well, one of the one of the biggest changes that's come down mm -hmm. the way. It was just a little over a year ago, is that they have dropped poor little Pluto off of the planet list. Okay, so this is Pluto right mm -hmm. here. That's okay, Pluto. Got it. He's way out there. He's 3.7, about 3.7 billion miles away Whoa. from okay. the sun, and. Uh, so we're and we're only you know uh, 9.4 million. So there's okay. there's quite a difference. But anyway, they have dropped him off, uh -huh. and we have only eight planets now. Mm -hmm. But we have three non-planets, dwarf planets, you might call them. Got it. And so those are now being added in as part of our spectrum. But really, we only have eight planets now. Since 1930, we had Pluto as a planet, but they've decided to change the definition of what a planet is. 
First of all, Pluto's very small. Yeah. Second of all, it does not dominate its orbit. If my head were the sun mm -hmm. and Pluto was coming around in its orbit this way, mm -hmm. when it gets close to Neptune, which is 250 times larger in mass mm -hmm. than, than Pluto, it gets pulled out of its orbit. Instead of going out, it goes inside the orbit of Neptune oh. and doesn't stay there. For a, for a, so for a period of years, it's actually out of place. Well, it's no longer a full-fledged ah. planet. You've got to dominate your orbit. This is amazing, so, so educational in just this one minute that you explained all this. This is well, really it's a great. lot of fun information. It is a lot of fun information. So, hey, make it out to the show tonight, everybody. It is called Planet Patrol Solar System Stakeout. It's tonight. It's I gotta say that in that way with that inflection of my <laughs> That's voice. That's right. Exactly. Tonight, 7 p.m. over at the. Sam B. Pena Planetarium in Visalia. So thank you, Sarah, for being here. I really you. appreciate it. You're so much fun. <laughs> all right, everybody, that'll do it for us. Uh, we want to thank all of our guests as well. Coming up Monday on Central Valley Today, how to go gray gracefully and how to get a suntan like a star without the sun damage. Don't forget to watch highlights from today's show on centralvalleytoday.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.